Growing plants from seeds. Plants are living things. They play a very important role in our lives. They give us lots of things like food, sugar, oil, wood, fibers, rubber, gum, tea, coffee, and spices. They also give us oxygen for breathing. To meet our needs, we need to grow plants. Let us read how we grow plants. We can grow plants through seeds, stems, roots and leaves. Seeds are present inside fruits. New plants grow from seeds. Let us study the structure of a kidney bean seed. Seed coat An outer covering protects the baby plant inside. Seed hole Allows water to enter the seed. Cotyledons Store food for the baby plant. Embryo Grows into a baby plant. A plant produces many seeds. But all seeds do not grow into new plants. Some seeds are eaten by animals and humans. Some seeds are weak and do not grow. Some seeds are destroyed by wind or rain. Some seeds do not get the proper conditions needed to grow. When a healthy seed gets right conditions, right amount of air, water and warmth, it grows into a baby plant called seedling. The process by which a seed grows into a new plant is called germination. During germination, the seedling gets food from the seed leaves called cotyledons. The seedling uses stored food until it grows its own roots and leaves. After the food stored in the cotyledons has been used, they shrink and fall off. The seedling grows in size and develops leaves which make food for the plant through photosynthesis. The roots of the plant absorb water and minerals from the soil. Seed Dispersal When many seeds are sown too close to each other, they struggle for nutrients. Even after germination, the seedlings do not get enough sunlight, air, water and space. As a result, many seedlings die. Thus, it is important that seeds are scattered over a wide area so that each seedling gets enough sunlight, air, water and space to grow. Seeds of some plants are scattered naturally to ensure that they do not grow too close to each other. The process by which seeds are scattered away from the mother plant is called seed dispersal. Some seeds have special features that allow them to disperse. Some seeds are dispersed by agents like wind, water, animals and human beings. These are called agents of dispersal. Dispersal by wind Seeds that are light and have hair or wing-like structures on them are dispersed by wind. Cotton and dandelion seeds have fine hair and are easily carried away by wind. 
dispersal by water. Seeds of some plants can float on water and are carried away by water. Lotus plant has a spongy light fruit which can float on water. Coconut has fibrous covering that helps it to float on water. Lotus and coconut seeds are dispersed by water. Dispersal by animals Birds and animals eat fruits. At times, undigested seeds of these fruits pass through their digestive systems unchanged. In this way, seeds are dispersed from the plant. Some seeds like cockleber, the tura and tiger claws have spines or hooks. These seeds stick to the bodies of animals or birds and are carried away. Human beings and animals eat fruits like mango, jamun and cherries and throw away their seeds resulting in their dispersal. Dispersal by Explosion Some fruits like pea, poppy, balsam and bean burst open, scattering the seeds away from the plant.